always pee a million times before you get in drag. You gotta. Oh, yes. Yeah. Or else you'll be taking a bathroom And poop break. sometimes. And you're gonna be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. What? I knew Bob from the New York club scene. I'd seen him host a show before. First time I met Shangela was at the Barracuda Lounge in New York City. She had uh, stumbled into my show, it was very late at night. She was very lovely, came in, tipped, hallelujahed, had a couple of drinks, patronized the bar, and left. I knew Eureka first from the pageant scene. I remember going to like a big drag pageant that she was a part of, and actually was like, a finalist in, amazing. The first time I ever met Shangela was at, I don't know where it was, but I just remember she was, oh, it was a Roanoke Pride. Her and her mother, Alyssa Edwards, was working the show. They were about an hour and a half late. Uh, Alyssa came in and she said, oh no, mama, mama, I'm not late, honey. Honey, the show didn't start the time I told the show to start. I just remember Shangela was so nice to me. She was just so sweet and humble and it was just really cool because I was like, oh my God, Shangela, I love you so much. She was like, oh, I love you too, girl. Mama. You know, now I work with her on this like amazing show called We're Here, so it's like, full circle realness. I'm pretty sure I met Eureka at the Ritz in New York City. She was performing her song, The Big Girl, with Candy Muse. And then I one day stormed the dressing room at uh, Mickey's in WeHo and I said, Eureka, I wrote a song for you and I want you to perform this song. And I, I think I brought it on like a thumb drive. And I was like, listen to this <laughs> and tell me what you think. And then the rest is, um, the rest is our story. The song I performed with Candy Muse was Body Positivity. Body Positivity, that's what it was, body, yeah. body, yaddy, yaddy, positivity. <laughs> the first time I really remember Bob, because the first time I met her, she wasn't very memorable. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I remember like working with her on tour, the Christmas tour specifically, was our first time working together. We used to play Uno on the tour bus and they would always pick on me and try to make me draw all the cards. So they had, they had a custom card where Bob literally, <laughs> oh my God, the demons, the demons are coming on me. <laughs> Bob made a custom card that said, draw 10 cards if your name rhymes with Yashrika. <laughs> it was stupid. <laughs> I would describe my friendship with Bob and Eureka as extremely vibrantly chaotic. Like amazing, hilarious, fun. You better have used the bathroom before you start talking to either one of them. Very supportive, we like to call each other. And when we're together, we really give a lot of love to each other. You know what I mean? It's not that, it's not that friendship where it's like, we call each other every day, every night. But when we see each other, there's always a lot of love. You know, it's much more than a friendship. It's a sisterhood, it's a family. We're the only three people that experience what we experience when we're on the road doing we're here. So we have to support each other in that realm. But even more so outside of that, you know, they've been very supportive to me through some of the darker times, you know, losing really important people in my life. You know, I consider them more than friends. You know, they're my chosen family. My first compliment is for Eureka. Eureka is a great cook who will invite everyone over to eat. Yum, yum. Yo, yo. <laughs> and I've been lucky to come over. My first compliment goes to Shangela. Um, I think that you're one of the realest sisters, like honesty, but also showing up. You've been very supportive to me when I needed someone, not only emotionally, but also financially sometimes, you know, when I really needed it and didn't have anyone, you know, being the person that does that for my family. I've never really had anyone I could call to ask of that. So it's just been really special to be able to have that. My other compliment is for Bob. Bob loves his mommy and always shows it, even though I'm her favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, that's very sweet, thank you. And so my first one is for Shangela, like Wifa Wadley, what? <laughs> um, Shangela is a very charismatic performer and always remembers to call my mother on Mother's Day. Ah, yes. That is true, oh, she has to call my mom every single Mother's Day. And she goes, she's my mom goes, Shangela called me today. And I go, oh my God, how did she get your number? Eureka has a very good stage instinct. She always knows how to wonderfully pace a number. Oh, Eureka wow. can time a number within an inch of its life. One time Eureka planned a number for me, her, and Shangela. And Eureka sent us this number broken down with timestamps. <laughs> you go here, you do this, this will move here. And I was like, wow, that's very impressive. Shows, you know, get them shows, you got a show directing. There yes, it is. Yeah. Bob, um, you're, uh, you're just an inspirational person to me. I think that you're unmatched in your composition and the way that you hold yourself and you carry yourself in situations, especially those that are challenging. And I just find that extremely inspirational. Thank you. Oh, how do those compliments make you all feel? Oh, like I want a hug. I know. <laughs> yeah. This is nice. Yeah.
one thing I hope that I taught both of you is um, this is an old film trick, an old drag queen film trick. Never let them catch you with your shoes off. Okay. They will tell you we're not getting your feet and they will pan down and you will see an, uh, an Ugg boot, a croc. I have, I have officially learned the hard way if you watch season one or two of We're Here. <laughs> and uh, I've, I've learned from um, both of you um, the power of smiling sometimes. Oh, I do it all the time. Yeah, yeah. But on occasion. I know that's hard for you. Yeah. yeah so because, we're very proud. Because the muscles in my face are so weak. Yeah. Oh, boy, you look like a little dainty it's muscle. So Not that jaw, mom. The smiling is hard. But oh, look at this one. Bad. <laughs> oh my God, and stop before you hurt yourself. <laughs> Something that I have taken away from the both of you have learned is to always pee a million times before you get in drag. You gotta. Oh, yes. Yeah. Or else you'll be taking a bath and break. poop yes. sometimes. And you're gonna be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. What? And sometimes I didn't take that from you. Shangela doesn't poop at all, actually. <laughs> One thing I hope I've uh, given to both of you is just to always remember to Stand up for yourself, mm -hmm. and if there's a moment where you know something's not right for yourself, you said, tell them, whoa, 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 baby, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> On the count of three, one, three. Whoa, 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 baby, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you know, I guess I hope that you all have, um, I guess learned that, you know, my intentions are always the best, even though sometimes I might not know that, you know, they're affecting in a negative way. I'm all, my intentions are always like out of love and, positivity and wanting to uplift. And I think what I've probably learned the most from both of you is maybe how to think before I speak sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, honestly, mm -hmm. process things and educate myself sometimes before I speak on things. And also I learned how to not speak for others, only speak for myself with facts, mm -hmm. which has been really Look important that. Look at the learning. Oh, the growth moment. Oh, yeah, the if okay. I can take a moment to come clean about something I've taken from you, uh -huh. those earrings you lent me in the oh, real time. You, and I will return them at some point. And you time. said it was me. <laughs> I thought it was you. Oh! What a chin in there, darling. Let's Ooh. reach into the bowl here. Oh, wow, your hand fits in there. Favorite guest on the show. Oh. Well, I mean, do we consider our kids guests? Well, I will say this, you know who is a guest on the show? We have a lot of guests, but I always think of the effervescent, wonderful Lady, Lady Shug. Lady Shug. Lady, Lady Shug is not only that, but she also provides a, she's like an auntie yeah. to the drag kids. She provides a lot of um, guidance to a lot of the drag mm -hmm. kids, especially the ones who want to keep doing drag after the show. She's For those auntie. who don't know, who is Lady Shug? Lady Shug was dear friends with uh, my drag kid, Nate, back in Farmington, New Mexico, mm -hmm. uh, episode, uh, season one, episode five. Uh-huh. Performance in New Mexico. Um, and Lady Shug was is an amazing um, indigenous advocate, uh, Danae from Farmington, New Mexico, and, and she'll yeah. pop right out of Farmington. And she comes every yes. season. We love to Everywhere see she pops up. Much love to you, Lady Shug, wherever yes. you are, much love. Okay, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Mela canamina, mela canamina, canamina. Come on, come on, wicked. come on, come straight on, watching. come on. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one, okay? Um, is it a good one? Yeah, this one says most memorable city. And I think our most memorable city to do We're Here In was, to me, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. The it was our one? very first one of the mm -hmm. very first season. And we had no idea really what to mm -hmm. expect. Yeah. And I remember when it was over, we were all like, wow, y'all, we did something. Yeah. This was something special. Like, I'll always lock in my mind to the things that never, that, that didn't make the final cut that we will always have. My and motorcycle, yeah. they, got, that, they had to take the handlebars off to yes. get through the door. Yes. <laughs> oh, and then yeah. they couldn't And then they couldn't turn it on on the inside because of the exhaust pipes. So they just pushed it forward pushed into the down, scene. The same, yeah. <laughs> what about the ghost? The ghost. the ghost Robert. The ghost Robert. Robert that lived the very in first the venue. Yes, there was yes. a ghost. Robert, if you're watching, <laughs> boo. <laughs> okay. You got me with the boo. Thank okay. You. So uh, what's something you all like to do after a day of filming and why? Ooh. Eat. Yeah. Eat. We all love to get home, D-Drag and Girl, eat. Girl, the first thing I, well, yeah, poop and then eat. You know, I'm a pooper, y'all. I like to be regular. I, I poop too. This may I blow do. your mind. This one says, finding out you got the role. Actually, I remember Bob's reaction in the car when we left, you remember? I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be really cool. And Bob was like, well, you know, 
I have meetings like this a lot. So, uh, <laughs> so I'll believe it when they uh, invite us to set. Well, that happens a lot in, 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 yeah. in the business. You have a lot of meetings. They don't yeah. always come to fruition. And even after we filmed the pilot, I was like, once we once we actually got a call being like, we are going to season. I, that's yes. when I allowed myself to get excited. <laughs> um, right here, I have. <laughs> Great she didn't like that question. This one just says loser. <laughs> oh, okay. wow. Best moment together outside of work. I got this locked and loaded. We were bowling in Farmington, New Mexico, oh, and Shangela yeah. was tanking it, doing a horrible job. Oh, just what? she was. Just, I mean, just just gutter ball oh, after I gutter ball. I say, I say, Shangela, <laughs> listen to me. I'm going to grab my phone. I'm going to film this in slow motion. You're going to bowl it. You're going to turn to us. You're going to hit a dip and right when you hit the ground, all the pins are gonna fall down. Shenzhen said, baby, I've been in the gutter all night. Shenzhen rolled that ball, turned around, it's faced fun. us, didn't even look back, it hit the ground. Now Shenzhen's watching us react, because we're all like, ah! Because ah! we saw before, she saw this. And she I got thought up. you were living for my move. And then no. she got up and she saw it, and I, I still have it. If you go back to my Twitter, I got it a is strike. In, in slow motion, it's a brilliant. Yes, Honestly, I'm brilliant. the Martin Scorsese of TikTok. I guess you forget what people really think of you until those moments where people have a moment to like, really say how they feel and it's interesting what people say. Yes. I thought it's that was very cool. special. I really love the fish bowl of memories. Yeah. Because you know I like to think of myself as so fish. So so fish. Yeah. <laughs> what was your favorite? You know, uh I guess memories too. Yeah. We've been through a lot together at this point. We have. You know, not only like three seasons of we're here, but like just working together on tour and stuff too. But it's mm -hmm. been wild. And thank you so much for testing our friendship, Glamour. Yes. yes. You, Glamour. I'm Eureka O'Hara. Hallelujah, Shangela. And I'm Bobby Dragon. We'll see you next time. Bye, y'all. Hashtag we're now, here. Which way is the? Is this how you get to? Wait, the where's the food going? though? The snacks. Hey, wait. Yeah. You can't go anywhere. I had the ballet ticket. Uh -uh. Wait, let me wait. get off this box. <laughs>